All right, guys, just a quick update on the USD CAD. All right, on the USD CAD, what we have on the weeklies, uh, just sorry about that. Come on, yep, yeah, on the weekly over here on the USD CAD. All right, so we fell all the way down, covered all these weeks one, two, three, closed last week, closed strong bearish. What now I'm seeing on the USD CAD is we might hit another another my 100 pips below so yeah so my next target for the USD CAD which is my other and other weekly area which is around this area 1.27450 somewhere around this area on the other hand if you go into the smaller time frame let's see what we have just look at this on the smaller time frame yeah so just look at this how the dollar is getting beat so just going down again uh, sellers in control so we now see a little more push towards five zero again so yeah I'm just on the on the other hand if you just look at on the small time frame where we actually take entries I'm gonna wait for the price to break down this area so if we if we see a rejection again around this area which is 1.1.2840 uh, around around 1.2850 let's say so yeah i took this trade last week like on friday which was good around good 50 pips trade and it worked it went perfectly so now i uh, probably i'm gonna wait just look at this the price started to went up and momentum failed so went all the way down again so my main idea on the usd cat over here will be that if we break below we're gonna fell around just another 50 pay or around 100 pips more so yeah so i'm probably gonna take two entries over here one will be around this area if we stay below this area i'm gonna enter again my stop loss will be around above this and another entry should be will be uh if you break below this i'll enter some positions again and my tp will be around this area which is 1.2750 somewhere around 1.250 to 1.2760 yeah that's it for the usd cat but i'll let the market open i'll i'll don't trade on mondays i usually just see what happens on monday because every market opens and how the market behaves what's the trend of the market for the week and then I'll take the trades accordingly so don't rush your trades just take it easy and we'll go from there thank you